So Javante Tank Davis came out responding to a Floyd Mayweather, the former fighter, Ishe, calling for him to fight Devin Haney, where he said, quote, Tank is my guy, but at some point, if you are not fighting the fights the public wants to see and demand, they will lose interest in some fights. After Pitbull, they need to do a better job getting the right fights. End of the quote. So Javante responded by stating, quote, if you know so much, what happened to your career? Question mark. Pick your side and stay there. End of the quote. Well, what happened to Ishe career? He's not as talented as a Javante, as a Devin Haney, as a Floyd Mayweather. That's obvious. It doesn't matter if Ishe had all of the opportunities Floyd Mayweather had. He still had to win. And if you don't have the talent to actually win, none of that really matters. So I don't understand where Javante is coming from with that. Even pick the side and stay on it. There is nothing wrong with Ishe calling for the best to fight the best. This is what the sport of boxing is all about. I don't understand this pick your side and stay on it. How is us the fans wanting to see the best fight the best is picking sides? This is a sport. This is not the streets. This is not bloods and crips. Oh, you with this side then stay over there. Don't go to that side. What are we talking about here? How is a person as a boxing fan wanting to see a fight is picking a side. I mean, Ishe, for example, didn't even say who he believes is going to win. All he said was he want to see the fight just like every sport fan in the world want to see the fight. However, Tank talking about pick a side and it's not just Tank who does it. Shakur does the same thing, so on and so forth. How is wanting to see the fight picking a side? To me, that comes off like Javante is not really confident. Just because the fans want to see the fight, he feels as if they picking Devin Haney already. Just because they want to see the fight, as if he thinks Devin Haney is going to win. If you think you're the best, you got to fight the best. If you think you're the face of boxing, then you have to deliver the biggest fights in boxing that are available. The Devin Haney fight is available, so there's no reason to why Javante is not fighting Devin Haney next. It's simple as that. Especially if he believes he can win. Doesn't Javante want to make a whole lot of money? Doesn't he want to be a legend in the sport? Well, guess what? Devin Haney will do both. Javante was recently flexing that he brought in $100 million in revenue against Ryan. Well, if Javante want to do that again, he has to fight at Devin Haney, for example. He can make even more money than that. So what's the problem here? He should be pushing for the fight more than the fans, more than Devin Haney, if he believes he can win the fight, unless he doesn't, just like his team. One of his coaches, Kenny Ellis, came out and stated that Devin needs to fight Jerron Ennis responding to Devin Haney calling out Javante and the fans calling for the fight. I mean, what sense does that make? On the other hand, you have Javante, other coach, Calvin Ford, he came out and said, Javante is not going to take a pay cut. Who told him to take a pay cut? This is Javante's biggest fight. Why will he take a pay cut? Like, they making excuses that don't even exist. The only time Javante has to take a pay cut is when he fights a Hector Garcia or a Pitbull Cruz rematch. Then he has to take a pay cut. Therefore, it's the exact opposite. Javante is cool with taking a pay cut to fight a Pitbull Cruz rematch, Hector, so on and so forth. However, he's not willing to fight Devin Haney without taking a pay cut. What sense does that make? You got to make it make sense. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and to be continued on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Why do you think Tank keeps going on you on Twitter talking about how you dress and sparring and etc.? I don't know. Tank say everything, but, <laughs> but he want to fight. So um, I've been saying this for a long time now. That's the fight to be made. Um, you know, I, I am the, the, the face of boxing. I'm the guy that's taking a risk, that's going to go fight. You know, um, the, the, the best fighters in the world. You know, uh, staying busy, staying active. 
you know, selling out arenas just be the, 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 the I sold out the, the um, MGM and now I'm finna sell out the, the Bay Area. So, um, and I'm taking real fights doing it, you know. Um, I'm not a guy picking and choosing and, you know, ducking or none of this. You know, I'm offering the, the, the so-called best fighters, you know, contracts with, you know, like a guy like Shakur. Um, you know, I am the, the epitome of the face of boxing. Tank don't want to fight because uh, if he really wanted to fight, then he would be trying to build up the fight instead of instead of trying to not, you know knock it down or you know try to you know say oh I'm only selling because of this or because of that. If he really wanted to fight me, he would you know be making it that you know it's it's a big fight and you know it's the best fight for boxing. But you know he uh, he only talk talk down on the fight. But like I said many times, they say everything, but let's fight. Nobody um, that's out did that. Um, you know, in terms of tanks, dance partners, um, you know, you don't you don't have to down the other fighter to um, to validate what you are and what you bring to the table. Uh, Tank um, and his team have consistently lied uh, to the people. It created this narrative that because you make money or because you charge the people some astronomical money for a fight, that you know that the guy's going to lose because um, obviously. The uh, what is it when the bet the betting line the betting line doesn't even reflect um, as much money as the <laughs> that the guy is charging. So talk the message to all the fans: stop letting Tank and his team piss on your head and tell you it's rain with these with these fights, these insignificant fights. You know what I mean? You're saying it's for the culture. Devin represents the culture and represents boxing and what boxing should be and what boxing is.